This is one of the classrooms built with 2 million kina of district funds. It has electricity and is fitted with new chairs and tables for the students to use. And now secondary school, when it was a uh, high school in 2007, uh, uh, when I took over as the uh, headmaster, the school was totally kind of run down. Principal Stanley Mokam says the school's high performance in recent exams is due to these new buildings. The school came second for secondary schools in the Highlands region in terms of academic excellence. This area is often associated with the constant problems of trouble fights and even compensation. The school's old classrooms were destroyed during tribal fights several years ago. But with multi-million kina projects like the LNG and Mount Kara developing, the people in the area are urged by their local leaders to change. Education is playing a pivotal role. Eight million kina contract, you know, awarded to the school where the contractors are currently uh, undergoing a construction work. And I believe, I think the member has just said uh, there is more to come. And while more local people are being educated, businesses like lodges and guest houses are being built that will employ them as well as the mining projects. But the challenge still remains to change the mindset of many other tribal groups in the area. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News.